After a fierce showdown with the Saiyans, the Earth was safe once again. But that safety came at a hefty price. The Dragon Balls, the only hope of bringing back those who had lost their lives, were gone. Thanks to what Vegeta said, however, Gohan and the others learned of more Dragon Balls on Kami's homeworld, planet Namek. After they had found Kami's old spaceship, Gohan and the others made preparations for their long, arduous trip to Namek. for huh what's up Bulma we're gearing up to go to Namek right I'm working on the spaceship that's gonna get us there but I'm short on parts oh bummer with Goku in the hospital practically mummified in bandages you're the only one left for the job oh no problem Bulma leave it to me that's the spirit here's what I need think you can handle that Talk about speedy service. Does everything check out? <laughs> sure does. Great job. I'll have this spaceship up and running in no time. Thanks a bunch, Bulma. The spaceship is complete and ready for takeoff. All right, Gohan, just let me know when you're ready to launch. We won't be back on Earth anytime soon, so make sure you've got everything you need. R right! With their preparations for the journey to planet Nemec complete, everyone has gathered at Kame House. <laughs> What's with the hair, Gohan? My mom thought I should look more presentable. You know, when meeting an entire alien race for the first time. Uh, okay. Man, your mom sure is strict. We're counting on you. Don't come back until you've found those Dragon Balls. On it. Bye, Grandpa. Bye, Mom. Bye. Write me every day, Gohan. All right, time for takeoff. Watch out, Planet Namek. Here we come. Meanwhile, just as Bulma and the others left for planet Namek, Vegeta, back and fully recovered from his fight on Earth, learned of his commander Frieza's absence. Frieza was on his way to planet Namek with his most elite subordinates in tow. He was in search of the Dragon Balls that he learned of from Vegeta and the others on Earth. His goal? To wish for immortality. Vegeta hurriedly made his way to Namek in an effort to catch Frieza and stop him. If Frieza is able to attain immortality, the universe is history. I'm not going to let that happen. Those Dragon Balls are mine! Meanwhile, 34 days after Bulma and the others left Earth. 
They finally arrived at their destination, Planet Nemec. We did it! We actually made it to Planet Nemec! Hmm, this place kind of reminds me of where Piccolo trained me, back on Earth. No use waiting around, let's find those Dragon Balls. Oh, hey, check this out! I'm picking something up. No doubt about it, it's a Dragon Ball! You're right! Woohoo! <laughs> Alright! Alright, we found we one! Found we one. found one! Huh? Krillin, do you feel that strong energy over there? Huh? Man, you're not kidding! It's massive, and it feels crazy strong! And there's something kind of evil about it, too. Uh, what's going on? There's nothing to freak out about. Besides, look at the reading I'm getting over there. The radar's picking up four Dragon Balls all in one spot. Uh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> it's probably just some Namekians. We got nothing to be afraid of. <laughs> right? <laughs> They'll know we're here. Yeah. It's Vegeta. Looks like it's just him. I am not letting you get your filthy hands on those Dragon Balls, Frieza. Yeah. Bulma, let the others know what's going on, and then head back to Earth. Bulma, let the others know what's going on, then head back to Earth. Gohan, sound good to you? Y yeah. Uh, okay, I'll get a hold of Master Roshi and fill him in first. Once I'm back, I'll pick Goku up and bring him here. I should be back in about two months. Uh. Right. Two months. Mm -hmm. What? Uh, another one? Hold the phone. What's another one of those things doing here? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I want to know. We found it, Lord Frieza! Excellent work. Now only three remain out of my grasp. <laughs> Take care not to lose that, Dodoria. It seems Vegeta is looking for the Dragon Balls as well. Yes, sir! Uh, pardon me, Lord Frieza. Kui has just intercepted Vegeta. Has he? My, that was fast. In addition, uh, the two large power sources from earlier have suddenly disappeared as well. I will make my way to their location and investigate. I should be able to identify them shortly. Very well, but I'm more concerned about ridding myself of that traitor Vegeta. What a shame. I didn't think him foolish enough to turn against me, let alone attempt to steal the Dragon Balls for himself. Kui should be on his way to dispose of Vegeta. Should be interesting. Those two have long hated each other. They are roughly equal in power, I believe. So I assume it'll take a fair bit of time. You're not going anywhere, Vegeta. I'm going to enjoy blowing you to pieces. Make sure to let Goku and the others know. Thanks.
All right, I'm heading back to Earth now. Good luck, you two. I'll be back with Goku as fast as I can. Huh? Krillin! Someone's coming! Huh? Is it the Saiyan? No. It's not Vegeta. It's someone weaker. Probably a Namekian. It should be right around here. Huh? Look. What the hell is that? What? <gasps> Those aren't Namekians! They don't look like Namekians! Who the hell are they? Their power levels are a joke! They're nothing but trash! I guess it's just some Taurus, huh? Well, anyway, we got orders to annihilate everyone on the planet. It wouldn't be much fun if they got away. So let's take care of that spaceship of theirs. Sounds good to me! No! That starship! <laughs> Sucks to be them! Guess that we're in the wrong place at the wrong time! Okay, go on. Feel free to let loose on these guys. They're nothing compared to you! Here goes! Right! Uh, Lord Frieza, it seems like those two power sources from before may warrant more of our attention. They raised their power levels almost instantly, and then vanished after defeating two of our scouts. That is indeed strange. I highly doubt it's Vegeta's doing. Correct, my lord. It can't be Vegeta. The sources each have a power level of about 1,500. 1,500? Is that right? Hardly anything worthy of our concern, wouldn't you say? They do seem rather unruly. If you happen upon these two, eliminate them. Let us leave Vegeta's destruction to Kui. You hear that, Vegeta? Th that was a direct order from Lord Frieza. I finally get to kill you. Don't make me laugh, Queen. Do you actually think you can beat me? <laughs> Are you blind, Vegeta? Take a look at your scouter. You'll see my power level is leagues above yours. <laughs> you must really have a death wish coming at me like this. <laughs> You've lost your edge, Vegeta. You don't stand a chance against me with a power level like that. <laughs> don't be disappointed. You're in for a treat. You see, I've managed to learn a little new trick during my time on Earth. <laughs> like what? How to run away? Like how to control my power level! 
No way! 90, 20, 21, 22,000! <laughs> This must be some sort of error, but I set my scouter to Vegeta's coordinate, and it's showing a reading of more than 22,000. Did you say 22,000? That's an older model scouter, isn't it? Here, I'll get a more accurate reading with mine. <laughs> Impossible! It can't be! Is my scouter broken? But it's a newer model! The reading's up to 24,000! <laughs> Are you saying his power level is even beyond ours now? <laughs> Die! We're supposed to be equal in power! You fool! I've grown stronger with each battle I fought! The most recent one on Earth pushed me to the brink of death! Don't think for a second that a pampered peon like you could ever be my equal! Don't underestimate me! Don't underestimate me! Out of my face! Out of my face! Take him on together. Uh, I, I never really liked him anyway. <laughs> what did you say? The gun! <laughs> you're so pathetic. You have pissed me off for the last time. You're not going anywhere! <laughs> <laughs> Dirty fireworks. Vegeta's power level from before! That 24,000 reading, it was real! Oh, I don't believe it! He just took out Kui! I'm hardly surprised at this. How soon you forget, Vegeta is a highly experienced fighter in every right. Not to mention foolish. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't seem to know his error and so brazenly defying me. Lord Frieza, the scouter shows there are about ten Namekians in that direction. Very good. Let's hope they have what I'm looking for. The fifth Dragon Ball. Let's pay them a visit. I... I hate to say it, but that's it. We're screwed. There's no way we can ever get back to Earth now! Bulma? Let's... let's at least get away from this place! We're sitting ducks out here! We should try to find a place to hide! Maybe in a Namekian house or a cave or something! We'll try to figure something out! I'm... I'm sure the Namekians can help us fix our ship, right? I wish I could be as optimistic as you two. So, how long do we have to stay in a creepy place like that? Huh? Grillin, do you sense that power over there? Uh, yeah, I do. But it's not like the others from before. This time, it might be Namekian! Huh? Hide! There's some strange energy headed this way! What are you doing, Bulma? Hide! Those guys we beat up earlier weren't alone! Huh? It's them! and check the Dragon Radar, please? You said four of the Dragon Balls were in one spot, right? Well then, 
It's possible that those guys... Uh, yeah! That explains it! They have the four Dragon Balls! Yeah, that's what I thought. Go on, did you feel it? Yeah, their power was incredible! Whoa, Th that small guy, he, he might actually be stronger than Vegeta! Whoa, stronger than Vegeta? No way. Cool, man. Wait, how are we supposed to get the Dragon Balls from those guys? Once Master Roshi learned of the situation on Namek from Bulma, he informed Goku right away. Goku, who was eager to help his friends, then asked Dr. Briefs to build him a spaceship. Dr. Briefs modified the ship Goku arrived in as a child and gave it enough power to reach planet Namek in just six days. After bringing himself back up to fighting condition with some sensu beans, Goku left for Planet Namek. All right, I'm off. I'd better get training with this gravity machine right away. After all, I've only got about six days to get stronger than Vegeta. Hey, you guys! Those creeps from before are heading straight for the Dragon Ball. Uh, hey, that's... Wait a minute. Th that's right back where Krillin thought that the Namekians were approaching us. Okay, I'll head over there and check things out. I'm going to. Uh, wait a second. Huh? Are you just gonna leave me here by myself? Well, it'll be a lot safer for you here. Actually, you might be right. Fine. I'll just open up a capsule home here in the cave and wait for you guys. Go on. Make sure you lower your power as much as possible. Right! Freezer's Horrible Henchman So, you think there are really some Namekian villages here? If they are, we need to hurry and find them before it's too late. down there they look just like Kami and Piccolo ah they must be Namekians first introductions I am Frieza I'm looking for the Dragon Balls and if I'm not mistaken I do believe one of them can be found here we we don't have anything like that <laughs> it takes a great deal of courage to lie to me with a power level like yours <gasps> The, that device, that must be how they're able to find what few villages are spread across the planet. Oh, <laughs> you know the other elders were all too willing to provide me the information I need. W willing? That's impossible. Well, they did require some convincing. Zabon, show how persuasive we can be. Sir. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps you understand now. If you insist on being this difficult, those young ones over there will be the next to die. <clears throat> They're monsters! How terrible! Well, what do you intend to do with the Dragon Balls? Why, I'll make a wish, of course. Nothing too extravagant, mind you. Just immortality. <sighs> Even if these monsters manage to gather the Dragon Balls, they still might not be able to make their wish. Uh, I suppose we have no choice. But promise me one thing. Promise me you won't lay a hand on the children. Of course. Mind you, you could have saved yourself all this trouble by doing this sooner. Now, take this and be gone. Well, I have. 
Perhaps you can tell me something. Say the location of the two remaining Dragon Balls. If memory serves, you need seven of them to make a wish, isn't that right? Don't be ridiculous. We Demechians are not in the business of endangering our own kind. And just when I thought you were less foolish than the rest. I suppose I have no other recourse but to kill you and the children. Get out of here, Dende! No! R right! No! Ah! 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 Oh, Scouters! Now you won't be able to hunt us down anymore! You're all dead! It's not much fun killing small fries like you. But you gotta die sooner or later. That's enough! What? Who the hell are you? I'm gonna make you pay for what you did! Hey, go on. Even if we take them together, these guys are way out of our way. Your jets go on! Solar flare! Back to Bulma fast. Hey, can you fly? Oh, uh, um, yes. Th thank you for saving me. So, um, what's your name? I'm Dende. Hmm? One of Frieza's goons is on the move. This energy. Is that Tadoria? This is perfect. I can more than handle him all by myself. Vegeta! 
Hey there! It's been quite some time, Dodoria. I've waited for you to foolishly leave Frieza's side. Knocking you around should be easy enough without Frieza here. You think you're hot stuff, don't you? Do yourself a favor. Shut up and just hand over that scouter of yours. Do that and I'll let you live just this once. <laughs> Is that so? You went completely radio silent during your attack on the Namekian village, which can obviously mean only one thing. You've lost every single one of your scouters, haven't you? <laughs> How perfect! Now I can make my way over there unnoticed. You want this, don't you? I guess you're not as dumb as you look, Vegeta. <laughs> What are you doing? Why did you break it? You idiot! Don't you realize you're not going to be able to find the Namekians without it? I recently spent some time on a planet called Earth. Believe it or not, they don't require scouters in order to sense power. There was another Saiyan there as well, and he also knew how to use that technique. Which means an elite like myself should easily master it. That's it then, isn't it? Those little runts I was after, they were Earthlings. What are you doing, teaming up with those punks? What? Earthlings? What the hell are you talking about? There's no way Earthlings could be out here. Enough of this nonsense. Stop wasting time and come at me already. I see what's going on here. You've come to realize just how much stronger I've gotten. And now you're too afraid to fight me. You saw my power level on your scouter before, didn't you? That number wasn't accurate. My scouter was busted. What are you so afraid of? Oh, try to attack me. Who do you think you are? You're not better than me. Out of my face, man. <laughs> we say it grows stronger with every battle we fight. The stronger the opponent is, the stronger we become. Our experience on Earth greatly increased my power. That's what it means to be a mighty Saiyan warrior. No way! Got a gun! Secret, but it ain't so little. It's a big one. It's about the home of your people. It's about planet Vegeta. What? What is it? Spit it out. You've probably heard all this before. How planet Vegeta was destroyed by some huge meteor, right? But that's not the truth. What happened is a bunch of crazy strong Saiyans like yourself started cropping up all over the place. 
And the more powerful they got, the more they didn't see the point in following orders from anybody. Lord Frieza lost trust in you guys, and because of that, he felt he needed to lay down the law. And oh, did he. Lord Frieza ended up not just destroying planet Vegeta, but every single Saiyan himself. But you know, Vegeta, you should be grateful. Lord Frieza saw a lot of potential in you, too much to waste, so he made sure to destroy the planet when you weren't there. <laughs> <laughs> I bet that was a lot to take in, huh? You're wrong about that, Dodoria. I couldn't care less about my planet, my comrades, or even my parents. But what infuriates me to no end is how I let myself be used all this time by bastards like you! Thinking about it makes me sick to my stomach! <laughs> Freeze is terrified of the limitless potential of a Saiyan's power. If what I heard on the Scouter is to be believed, then all seven Dragon Balls are needed in order to make a wish come true. First, I'll get my hands on the two remaining Dragon Balls. No, one should be more than sufficient. If I can hide even just one of them, Frieza and his lackeys won't be able to make their wish a reality. Ha! Then all I have to do is wait until their guard is down and steal the rest of them. <sighs> We're finally back. Well, you guys certainly took your time, didn't you? <laughs> uh, took your time. <laughs> huh? Uh, who's the pocket-sized Piccolo? Oh, he's Namekian, isn't he? What's your name, little guy? Y yes my name is Dende. Huh. It looks like you guys have been through a lot. Oh yeah, that's right! I've got great news from my dad! Really? That's great! Goku's on his way here as we speak. He should arrive in about mm, six days. And I hear he's toughening himself up. My... my dad's coming? Hooray! Yahoo! Six days remained until Goku would arrive on planet Nemec. Goku! Can you hear me, Goku? Wait. Huh? Where are you? Are you in space? Oh, that's right! You're heading to Namek! Good luck finding the Dragon Balls! Wait a minute. You mean you don't know what's going on? There's some crazy stuff going down on Namek! Crazy stuff? Well, we can talk about that later. I've actually got some guests here with me. Well, wait, you don't mean... They've asked me to train them even harder than I trained you! Hey, Goku, you hear me? We met up with Kami in the other world, and he told us all about this place. You said there's four of them there, right? So that's Yamcha, Tien... Wait, is Piccolo there too? <laughs> I'm not about to let you be the only one that gets stronger in all of this. Chaozu's here with us too! Kami pulled some strings and let us have our bodies back so we can train here. Pretty cool of him, huh? That's awesome! Glad to hear it! <laughs> I'm doing a bit of training myself on the way to Namek. I had my spaceship customized to simulate 100 times gravity for some extra intense training. But if I don't get stronger in the next five days, I'm gonna be in 
some pretty big trouble. You mentioned that before. What exactly is going to happen? What? What? Whoa, hold on. You mean there's someone out there that's stronger than Vegeta? Wait, you're not talking about Frieza, are you? Beats me. I didn't hear anything about a Frieza. You know him, King Kai? L listen, Goku. If it's actually Frieza, then stay far away from him! Get on his bad side and you're begging for trouble! I'm telling you, not just for your own safety, but for the safety of Earth, Namek, and every other planet in the universe! Is... is he really that strong? I kinda wanna meet him now. Do not go anywhere near him! You hear me? I'm looking for some sort of elder. I'm here to retrieve the Dragon Ball. <laughs> Battle for the Dragon Ball. Krillin, did you feel that? Uh, yeah. A bunch of energy just started disappearing. Really? More Namekians are being killed! And the one doing the killing has a very familiar energy. Uh, it's Vegeta! Now it's not just Frieza we gotta worry about wishing for immortality, but Vegeta too! If we can find one of the Dragon Balls and hide it, neither of them will be able to make their wish. But... But they'll just continue killing Namekians until they find all the Dragon Balls! N no uh, Who are you people? Where did you come from? And how do you know about the Dragon Balls? Please, if you can, save my people! Yeah, about that. Well, if you already know, I think... I think I understand what's going on now. Come on, follow me! I'll take you to see Grand Elder Guru. Huh? Uh... Grand Elder Guru? Why are we headed there? Those monsters that attacked our villages already have four Dragon Balls. Not only that, didn't you say that there are more people being killed over there? Uh, yeah. I think I know who did it. Vegeta. Th their energy... it's all gone. There's no one left! Th then... Then that means there aren't many Namekians left on this planet. Ugh. Oh, man. Even if we find the Dragon Ball in the village that Vegeta attacked, that still leaves one! Wait, does Grand Elder Guru have the last Dragon Ball? Y yes Not good! If Vegeta reaches it before us, he'll get his hands on the seventh Dragon Ball! But we have to hurry! And let Guru know! I'll go with Dende. Gohan and Bulma, you two wait here. There's no point in all of us going, okay? Right. Be careful, you guys! <laughs> so this must be a Dragon Ball. Fascinating. It must be kept safe. Time to hide it. No one could possibly find it as long as it remains at the bottom of this lake. If it's true that Frieza and his worms have five, that means just one is left out there. <laughs> this power, it's Zarbon. I'm sure of it. <laughs> it would appear that he's finally off that leash of his. We wouldn't have to split up and find the villagers if we just had our scouters. Well, look at that! If it isn't Zarbon! You know, I ran into your friend Dodoria earlier. He's super dead. And soon you will be. What? You? B 
beat Dodoria? So that's why he never came back. I can't believe this. I hear you've lost all your precious scouters and had to split up to look for Namekian villages. Which can only mean Frieza's holding on to the Dragon Balls you've obtained so far. Damn you. Frieza will not get his dirty hands on all of them. I'll make sure of it. I've already found one myself, and the others are as good as mine! What? As long as I can take immortality, the good is dead! The fool! Immortality will be enough to best Lord Frieza! The battles I fought afforded me some of the greatest power! You still don't get it, do you? Lord Frieza! Beyond anything you could ever imagine. Estimate me! Don't overestimate me! Out of my face! You may still fear the power of the soul. Taste my very power! Face! You've improved. I'll give you that much at least. But you don't seem to realize the mistake you've just made. You have awakened my true power. You've got quite a sense of humor. Go on, show me your power. You are going to regret this, Vegeta. Prepare to be amazed by my glorious transformation. Damn you! You must feel pretty foolish. You went to all that trouble to grow stronger, and for what? Nothing. And here's something else you probably didn't know. Lord Frieza also hides his true power behind transformations. But... Oh, he passed out. I'm afraid I can't let you die just yet. I still have a lot to ask you. I can't believe I'm actually providing aid to a traitor like you. Once you're fully conscious, you're going to tell me where you've hidden the Dragon Ball. There it is! That's Guru's house! That's it? Hey, Nail! You're okay! I'm glad to see you're safe, Dende. Grand Elder Guru is aware of your situation. You two may enter. He's huge! Welcome, young Earthling. I understand I have you to thank for saving my little Dende here. My gratitude. Uh, well, I really didn't do much. It pains me that most of my children on this planet have fallen victim to such vile invaders. I had no idea the Dragon Balls, the very symbols of Namekian wisdom and power, could cause such strife. Uh, forgive me for cutting straight to the chase, but do you think I could borrow the one that you got right there? Look, I won't let the bad guys get their hands on it. I promise! I'd like him to have it as well. If the Earthlings get the Dragon Balls, they can wish for theirs to return to Earth. What? what? There are Dragon Balls on Earth as well. 
Is or was there a Namekian there? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember hearing about one coming to Earth in order to flee some sort of crisis here on Namek. It must have been Kata's child. Truthfully, I'm surprised the child was able to survive the journey. If memory serves me, he was a gifted member of the Dragon Clan, the creators of the Dragon Balls. But how is it he met his end? Did he die of natural causes, or was he killed? He was killed by someone here on Namek, a Saiyan named Vegeta. Young Earthling, please step forward. I would like to look into your past. Huh? My past? My, my goodness. He split himself in two to combat the evil in his own heart. How foolish. To reduce such extraordinary potential is such a waste. If he had remained as one, he might not have met with such a horrible fate. Remained as one? Wait, does that mean if Kami and Piccolo rejoin, Piccolo will get his power back? Very well. I can see that your intentions are pure, and that you have exhibited great bravery thus far. I will entrust this Dragon Ball to you. However, you might not be able to make your wish. Uh, what do you mean? Unfortunately, I am not long for this world. I have perhaps only a few days left. Do you think you can reclaim the remaining Dragon Balls from those horrible fiends? As strong as you are, I fear that might prove impossible. Once I am gone, the Dragon Balls will cease to exist. Uh, I see. Well, I guess we'll just have to do what we can. I'll keep the Dragon Ball, and I'll guard it with my life. I appreciate it. I must say, you seem to possess a great deal of strength for an Earthling, but much of it lies dormant and unrealized. How unfortunate. Allow me to release the power resting deep inside you. What are you talking about? There's no way I'm hiding any more power. I mean, I'm already pushing myself to the limit. <laughs> <laughs> Where did all this power come from? Yeah! I've never felt this kind of power before! This is incredible! Wait. Uh, would it be okay if I brought a friend of mine here to see you? I bet he's got more untapped power than me hidden inside of him. Yes, please bring him here. We could use another ally in the fight for justice. Okay, I'll be right back with him. Now, wait here, Dende. I'm gonna go get Gohan, okay? Uh, all right, be careful. Hey, Gohan, according to the radar, the Dragon Ball over there is on the move. It's heading straight for us. Do you... Do you think it's Krillin on his way back? I bet it is! But, um, what about this one? These five here are probably the ones that Frieza guy has. And hey, here's this one all by its lonesome. Wait, that's the village we heard Vegeta was attacking, right? But Vegeta isn't there. I don't sense his energy anywhere near it. Oh, I think I get it. He attacked the village, but he didn't find the Dragon Ball. Let me borrow the radar, Bulma. I'm going to go find that Dragon Ball. <sighs> this is awful. The village is in ruins. Got to find that Dragon Ball. Not 
not in a house? in a place like that. Maybe the villagers were in a rush to hide it. What? What was that explosion just now? Oh, it can't be. He's not in the recuperation tank. <sighs> Damn that Vegeta! Where could he be? Fight him, Zabon! Fight him now! Aha! The Dragon Balls! Looks like five of them are here. And I can't leave this place without all five of them. Looks like time isn't on my side either. Great! I'm going to have to buy myself some time here. There we go. Now it's my turn. Oh, that filthy Saiyan monkey. Vegeta appears to be after the Dragon Balls. No, oh, the Dragon Balls. Damn that Vegeta! This is inexcusable! You will scour this entire planet and find that traitor! If after one hour's time you do not return to me with Vegeta, know that your death will be a slow and painful one! Oh, yes sir! Pains me to say, but it appears Saiyans are capable of more than I initially thought. They seem to grow stronger with each battle they manage to survive. They can't hope to reach my superior level of goals. Still, it might prove prudent to finally rid myself of them once and for all. It would be quite bothersome if I had to deal with a Super Saiyan. It seems it may be time to call the Ginyu Falls. <laughs> Here they are. Yes, yes, I'm untouchable. This is what you get, Frieza. Your Dragon Balls are finally mine! Now that I have these and the one that I hid underwater, that leaves just one to collect, then I'll have all seven! Huh? This huge power! Is that Zarbon? This was great! I had no idea I had this kind of power! I bet I can make it back to Gohan in no time at all! Man, I bet Gohan's gonna get way stronger than me when he meets Guru! The little runt from Earth? Why is he on Namek? <laughs> and he's holding the very last Dragon Ball as well! <laughs> Seems Fortune is smiling quite favorably on yours truly today! Oh, damn that Vegeta! Where did he go? Oh, if I don't find him soon, Lord Frieza will have my head! Wait, that... Oh, I've finally found you, Vegeta! A huge power level is on its way here! I guess Zarbon found me. Good. Once I get that Dragon Ball off the pipe sized Earthling, I'll finish him off once and for all. Hi, Krillin! 
Bulma, I told you to hide! It's not safe for you! Is that a Dragon Ball? Wow, those things are huge here! Yeah, I got it from Guru. He's a remarkable person! Oh yeah, that's right. Where's Gohan? I want to take him to see Guru to increase his power level. He left to go look for the other Dragon Ball. The radar showed one in the village Vegeta attacked before. What? Really? What the this power? No way! Vegeta! You're a long way from home, Earthling. Oh no. I was so focused on my increase in power that I didn't notice him. He's not wearing a scouter. And that means... He must have learned how to sense power levels without one. That's a nice Dragon Ball you've got yourself there. It would appear that you and I are after the same thing. <laughs> Fortunately for you, I have some business to take care of before I take it. But I'd think twice before doing something stupid like running away if I were you. Huh? There you are. Well, well. You've got some nerve, Vegeta. Thanks to your foolish actions, Lord Frieza has lost faith in me. If you don't give me the location of the Dragon Balls this instant, I'll just have to beat it out of you. You're welcome to try. <laughs> you never learn, do you? <laughs> Let his guard down. There's nowhere to run, Vegeta! Don't underestimate me! Out of my Take this! Out of my face! Out of my face! Look at you, you're already running out of steam! Oh, Sauron, I sincerely hope you're ready for your trip to hell. Don't make me laugh! How can you say? I have far more power than a savage like you! You have no hope of beating me! You're forgetting you're up against a Saiyan! Don't underestimate me! Remember when I clung to life by a thread? I bet you regret healing me now, don't you? Something to keep in mind. 
We Saiyans grow stronger every time we're brought to the brink of death. Uh, oh, yeah. That's right. Goku keeps getting stronger after each one of his fights. So, Baldy, what's it going to be? You forking over that ball, or am I taking it? Okay, if I give this to you... Uh, do you promise just to take it and leave? <laughs> Fine, why not? There's no point in wasting my time with small fries like you once I... Finally, I will be the one to rule over the universe, not that foolish Frieza! Immortality will be mine! <laughs> we can't just let him have all seven Dragon Balls! Gohan, we're counting on you! Whatever you do, don't let Vegeta find you! I hope Krillin and Bulma are okay! Better hurry! Hurry up and hide! Where to hide? Where to hide? Where did this power come from all of a sudden? It's gone. What's going on here? Who's there? If you don't show yourself right now, I'll reduce this place to ashes! Well, if it isn't Kakarot's little brat. That's a Dragon Ball! Wait, where did you get that? It was a gift! From that follically challenged friend of yours. G Krillin? You killed him, didn't you? No, he's alive. But I'd be more than willing to fix that if you'd like. Huh? And I think I'll let you live. Luckily for you, I'm feeling generous now that I've got all the Dragon Balls. All of them? Oh. Curious, uh, what's that you've got in your hand there? Oh, uh, this? It's a watch! <laughs> With such primitive technology, I'm surprised you Earthlings managed to make it to a remote planet like this. If you're here, then that must mean Kakarot's here too. No, he isn't! Oh, I see. That's too bad. When you get back to Earth, Tell Kakarot something for me. The next time we meet, I'm going to turn him and his precious planet into space dust! <laughs> oh, that was close! Get out of here, and quickly. Vegeta now knows where to find us. Yeah, I know. I ran into him not too long ago. What? Fortunately, I was able to hide this ball well enough that he didn't find it. Oh, man. You're one lucky kid, you know that? That's enough. Let's get out of here. It's not here. Impossible! It's a straight shot from where that brat was to here, and where the Earthling was before! But how? How did he find it? <sighs> that device he was holding... J that wasn't a watch! Damn that little maggot! He took what is rightfully mine and will pay with his life! No! 
They're gone! Those damn Earthlings. They have no idea who they're messing with. It's only a matter of time before they come after the six Dragon Balls I have at my disposal. And when they do, I'll make them regret ever having crossed me! Krillin and the others were able to secure one of the Dragon Balls from Guru, but it was quickly stolen by Vegeta. But thanks to Gohan's quick thinking, they were able to prevent Vegeta from getting his hands on all seven of them. In order to avoid Vegeta's wrath, the trio had to find a new place to hide. Krillin then made his way back to Guru with Gohan in tow. Freezes ace up his sleeve, the Ginyu Force. <laughs> Go on, I'm sensing great power. What? It, it can't be. It's Vegeta! Go on. I'm gonna buy us some time. You hurry on to Guru's place. Uh, okay. <laughs> Do you have a death wish, Runt? Hand over that Dragon Ball with the four stars on it right now or face the consequences. <laughs> What are you talking about? If you won't talk, I'll just have to make you. Hmm, astounding. Um, I heard you can unlock latent power. Indeed, and latent power is something you have in great abundance. However, I sense you also bear some resistance towards it. Real sorry, but we're kind of in a hurry. Worry not. I need only time for a few questions. Then I will tap into the power buried deep within you. Now, calm your mind and answer. Uh, okay. My boy, what do you think of great power? Yes, to you, power can be a frightening force indeed. But that is not all. I sense you feel its full potential as well. Let us move on. Tell me, when should power be used? No, now tell me. Correct. Power must be utilized only when necessary. The final question. Upon gaining power, for what purpose will you fight? Yes. That is why you fight. Think only of this and relax. Now, I shall begin. What the? There's someone in there. That's where you've hidden the ball, isn't it? No! Wait, Vegeta! Don't... Get lost. There's no way I'm letting you inside. Do you want to die that badly? <laughs> A huge power level is inside. That must be Kakarot! So he is here after all! What the hell? It's you! How did you increase your power so much? Oh. D Devonly, I have a favor to ask of you, my child. Please, let the others know there is a large unknown power source approaching the planet. the planet hey it's gotta be goku goku's finally here what you really think so it feels like there's more than one more than one wait that means one two three four 
five. This energy! Damn it, it has to be the Ginyu Force! I can't believe Frieza actually called the Ginyu Force! G you! Give me the Dragon Ball right now! Are you insane? There's no way we're gonna give it to you! Just do it! I won't lay a finger on you once I'm immortal! You have my word! You think we're falling for that? Don't you get it? Each member of the Ginyu Force is just as strong as me! Maybe even stronger! And there are five of them! They'll hunt us down with their advanced scouters and kill every single one of us! There's only one way to beat them, and that's to give me the ball so I can wish for immortality! The Saiyan may be speaking the truth. There are indeed five evil power sources on their way. But if we do this, then we came all the way out here for nothing! The Dragon Balls grant the user three wishes. You can still have your wish granted. Three? I thought we only got one wish! If I don't get my wish, then kiss your asses goodbye! Okay, fine. Follow us! Judas is crazy! Fly as fast as you can! They finally arrived. Traitorous Vegeta has stolen the Dragon Balls I've gone to great lengths to obtain. Make him suffer for his crime and then bring him to me alive. Consider it done. Scouters have already locked on. We have Vegeta's location. Lou Frieza, he's a scary yodi. Thank you. Now, time for our mission. Men, are you ready for this? Time to talk! We're taking the Dragon Ball! What? What's going on? Was that... Vegeta just now? isn't it? The five behind you? Plus the two you're holding? <laughs> that adds up to all seven! Yeah, and you're not getting your purple hands on them! Fine. We'll just have to take them from you then. Guldo! Sir! <laughs> How did he? Ugh. Damn it! So that tubby four-eyed freak actually does have the ability to stop time. Not good. And that's all seven of them. All that's left is to finish you guys off. Vegeta, your suffering will be handled by me personally. 
Hey, not so fast, Captain. You got to have all the fun last time. Yeah, that's right. Ugh. I suppose you're right. Fine. Raccoon, you take Vegeta. Guldo, you take the two kids. This should be interesting. Aren't I a great captain? Oh, oh, dude, the the best. Best. In the meantime, I'll deliver the Dragon Balls to Lord Frieza. And then he will finally be able to attain immortality! <laughs> so, Guldo, why don't you finish those pipsqueaks off first, huh? <laughs> This isn't fair. I'm gonna be done with this in no time. All right, here goes nothing. Release your power!
a member of the Ginyu Force be beaten by these kids? Ah, you gotta be hitting me. Whoa! You see that? Gudo just got his butt handed to him! Oh, that's just great! Now that we're down a man, our special fighting pose is going to look ridiculous! Well, I guess Captain Ginyu's gonna have to come up with a new pose that the four of us can do. We did it! Yeah, if we can keep this up until Goku gets here, we should be okay. You two really are off on your own little world, aren't you? Gulda was nothing. He's the weakest of the bunch. The real suffering truly starts now. All right, Vegeta. Now, it's our turn to play. <laughs> you kids can play too if you want. <laughs> Heck, I'll play with all of you. Simply magnificent, Captain Ginyu. I must admit, I'm impressed you were able to gather all seven Dragon Balls so quickly. There's no higher honor than such praise from you, Lord Frieza. Oh, ho, 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 ho. it is finally time to turn my dream of immortality into a reality. Let's begin, shall we? Dragon Balls! I command you to grant me immortality and eternal youth! Now? Uh, no, I suspect not. Ah, yes. There must be some sort of incantation to activate them. Perhaps some sort of secret phrase that only the Namekians know. Seems I'll have to hunt down more of those worms. Oh? 
Look at that. I'm picking up three Namekian power signatures. It appears a few of them survived. Lord Frieza, if you would like, I can force the phrase out of them. No, I think I'll ask them myself. You'll do well to remember that I have experience dealing with these primitive creatures. Captain Ginyu, you stay here and keep watch over the Dragon Balls. Understood, Lord Frieza. I won't disappoint you. <laughs> you guys are nothing but a bunch of pushovers. Well, might as well put the three of you out of your misery. Huh? What was that? Where'd that spaceship come from? It's Goku. He, he finally made it. Attention. We have arrived on planet Namek. I gotta find those three fast! Please be alive, you guys. Please be safe. Goku's heroic arrival. Huh? Gohan? And Krillin? They're in trouble! They're hanging on by a thread. They're really close. Right where those three huge powers are! <laughs> well, that wasn't much fun. Ah! Say goodbye! Show your face. Gohan, here you go. It's a sensu bean. Give some to the others, too. I'm gonna fight these guys on my own. Huh, you wanna fight me? What's a puny little guy like you gonna do? There's no way you can beat me! Finally, time to show you my best stuff. Recoup! Ultra! Fighting! Get ready for it! Uh, 
sorry. You were wide open, so I just went for it. You... 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 beyond a Saiyan power level, but, but how? <laughs> what kind of training has he put himself through to achieve this? <laughs> Wait, what? are the stories more than legends? Could it possibly be? Is he the legendary Saiyan warrior that appears once every thousand years? Is he actually a Super Saiyan? What about you guys? You gonna go back to your own planet, or what? Or do you want to end up like this guy over here? Whoa! You hear that, Bert, huh? This spiky-haired whip must be out of his mind! Yeah, he actually believes that he has the power to take down Raccoon. Oh, he just got lucky. Raccoon wasn't fighting at his best, that's all. Yeah, that was a fluke. I mean, his power level didn't even go over 5,000. Give me a break. Here we go! Yeah! This is taking off a lot of energy. So, you won't go back, huh? Yeah! 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 his power level at the exact moment he lands a strike. He, he must be trying to conserve his energy. That power spike is probably too quick for even their advanced scouters to detect. His power level is unbelievable. How can... Where is all this power coming from? Do you understand now? Just give up already! Uh, uh, this must be some sort of nightmare! How can we elite warriors be so powerless against this guy? Your naivete makes me sick. Why would you let them get away with that? You may have grown stronger, 
But that doesn't make you a Super Saiyan. Far from it. Super Saiyan? I can see that you're proud of how much you've increased your power. But that won't be nearly enough to defeat Frieza. Frieza, huh? That's the guy King Kai told me about. Wait, so even after all the training I did, you're saying I'm still not strong enough to beat him? That's exactly what I'm telling you. Frieza possesses more power than you could ever possibly imagine. Yeah, maybe you're wrong. I mean, you saw what Goku can do, right? I mean, those guys couldn't even lay a finger on him. Goku is unstoppable. Then fight him and find out for yourself. But that's not all. Frieza's probably already used the Dragon Balls to wish for immortality. No, I, I don't think he's done that yet. What? How would you know? Well, if it's like using the Dragon Balls on Earth, the sky should get really dark and Shinron appears. But it's been bright this whole time, which means he probably hasn't made his wish yet. Shen what? What the heck's the Shenron? You mean something comes out of the Dragon Balls? Oh yeah, that's right. He probably doesn't know how to summon Shenron. That means we still have a chance to make our wish. Hooray! <laughs> Appears we've got some company arriving. Looks like Jace has brought Captain Ginyu along with him. Wait, where's Frieza? I thought for sure he'd be back in his ship with the Dragon Balls that Captain Ginyu brought him. I'm sensing some massive energy over there. That's gotta be Frieza. Uh, over there? Oh, we're in big trouble now. That's where Guru is. Oh no. Frieza's probably going to force Guru to tell him how to make a wish with the Dragon Balls. Yeah, and once he's figured that out, he's going to kill Guru for sure. He doesn't know that he won't be able to use the Dragon Balls if Guru dies. What? That settles it. Krillin and Gohan, you two get the Dragon Balls. Me and Vegeta will go stop Frieza. Right. And if we don't hurry... Guru is done for! We have to find Bulma and get the Dragon Radar! Yeah, good idea. Good luck, guys. And be careful. Goku! Go get him! Come on, Vegeta, let's go. We're gonna go greet those Ginyu guys. Fine. You've got some real guts, you know that? The captain's gonna make you pay for what you did. Really? So this is the guy, huh? His power level's around 5,000. Just like we said, makes no sense, right? Absurd! Relying too much on your scouter is a rookie mistake. Don't be a fool! Most likely, he has the ability to instantly increase his power. From what I can tell, I'd say his true power level is somewhere around 60,000. 60,000? Saints don't have that much power? Promising. This'll be an enjoyable battle, the first in a long time. All right, let's do this, Vegeta. You take that smaller guy over there. Kakarot and Ginyu are more or less equal in terms of power. If I'm lucky enough, maybe the two of them might take each other out. This is the end of the line for you. Farewell, Kakarot! Vegeta! Here I go! Man, I can't believe Vegeta ditched me like that. I know I just got here, but let's get this show on the road. But not for long! The mighty Captain Ginyu will put you in your place! And see, I'm a lot more capable than he looks!
Vegeta said something about that, too. I have no idea what you guys are talking about. S S Super Saiyan? You mean... You mean... The legendary warrior? No! This cannot be! Is, is this guy really the only thing in the universe that even Lord Frieza is afraid of? I don't know about that, but what I do know is that I'd like to avoid fighting if I can. So listen up. Just leave the planet. I'm saying this for your own good. What? Are you... choking? No, I'm serious. I don't want to kill you guys if I don't have to. I've heard that the Super Saiyan is the ultimate warrior. One that lives only for battle and bloodshed. Oh, I get it. You're not actually a Super Saiyan, are you? But be that as it may, your power is still far greater than my own power. <laughs> What's funny? Jace! Take my scouter! What are you doing? <laughs> that body of yours is pretty strong. Yes, and I think I'll take it! Change! <laughs> going on what what am i doing all the way over there we've made a trade your body is mine now hey captain here's your scout right now back to the ship it's possible lord frieza may have returned already <laughs> So this is why he damaged his own body. It all makes sense now. I'm in serious trouble. If I don't hurry, I'm... Wait, no. He's gonna meet up with Krillin and the others. That's it. Wait a second. Even if I make it back to Earth... Chi-Chi probably wouldn't be all too happy seeing me the way I am right now. <laughs> He seems to have sniffed us out. It won't be much longer until he's here. You must go, Dinde. And hurry. Those Earthlings need you. Uh, okay. I understand, but, but please don't. 
don't die, Grand Elder Guru? I suppose I'll let this one live. There's no sense wasting my time with a single stick of dust. What do you want? Greetings and salutations. My name is Frieza, and I've come to your humble little planet in search of the Dragon Balls. Fear not, as I have already managed to gather all seven of them. Though it would seem I am unable to draw upon their power, which is what brings me to the lot of you. Tell me what I must do in order to grant my wish. I suggest you leave. We have no intention of telling monsters like you. I would be more forthcoming if I were you. Although I do not intend to kill you, I will use force if necessary. There are two of you, yes. I don't care which one of you it is, but one of you will tell me. Fine. If that's how it's going to be, then we'll fight. But know this. Grand Elder Guru, the creator of the Dragon Balls, resides here. If you kill him, the Dragon Balls will disappear as well. Hmm? Nail, my son. You must hold him off as long as you can. Understood, my lord. I see. But I'm curious. Don't you wonder if he'll still refuse to tell me what I need to know when he sees that you're about to die? I won't go down as easy as you think. But we're not going to fight here. Grand Elder Guru doesn't have much longer to live. Fighting here would only hasten his end. Oh, <laughs> very well then. Oh my, that's quite impressive. You've somehow managed to raise your power level to 42,000. Such a feat for the likes of you. But just to give you a sense of scale, allow me to inform you of what you're truly up against. My power level, you see, is 530,000. Rest assured, however, I haven't the slightest intention of fighting you with my full power. How kind of me. That's enough! Where are the Dragon Balls? They're either hidden somewhere, or Frieza's holding on to them. Wherever they are, those Earthlings are sure to find them with that contraption of theirs. But before they get the chance, I must mask my power. They'll quickly realize I'm here otherwise. This should work. Once those runs summon that Shenron creature, I'll kill them and get my wish granted. It won't be long until I run into them. I should change into a new battle suit while I have the chance. Krillin! The Dragon Balls are over there! Gotcha! Let's go, Gohan! The radar's showing that the Dragon Balls aren't in the ship, but somewhere near it. Looks like no one's around. Now's our chance to look for the Dragon Balls. So, they actually buried them in the ground. Huh, we've got all of them now! Ah, so that's where they are. Hurry and summon that Shenron creature, you fools! Once that thing makes an appearance, I'll trash the kids and finally make my wish for immortality! Harunga appears. Well, here goes! Right! Come forth, Shenron! And grant our wishes! Uh, nothing happened. What's going on? Where's... Where's Shinron? Maybe the phrase you use is different to summon him here. Damn it. What the hell are those two doing? Lin, 
Someone's coming this way! <laughs> yeah, there's two of them. And they got some wicked power. One of them's that Ginyu guy. D does, does that mean my dad lost? <laughs> what the? Goku, did you beat Ginyu and befriend one of his men or something like that? Whoa, they dug up the Dragon Balls! How did you do that? What do you mean? Obviously, we used the Dragon Radar. The Dragon Radar? So, did you already make your wish? Well, it's the craziest thing. We tried to summon Shinron, but it just won't work. Uh, you know, there's something different about you, Goku. I can't quite place it. That's a scouter, isn't it? Why are you wearing one of those, Goku? Krillin! That's not my dad! Huh? Gohan, what do you mean it's not your dad? I, I don't know how to explain it, but I know it's not him. This body no longer belongs to that Saiyan. I couldn't resist its power, so I took it! Wait, what did you say? <sighs> hmm? And you're... Krillin! Go on! That's not me! <laughs> wow, you actually made it this far! <laughs> That's correct! I am the mighty leader of the Ginyu Force! Captain Ginyu! <laughs> no! It can't be! That's my dad? Swapped bodies. All this really complicates things. Go on. Krillin. I know you two have what it takes to get rid of this guy. Don't hold anything back. Really let him have it. I can't. You're talking as if you think they can win. Remember, this is your body. Yeah. You're right about one thing. That's my body. Not yours. As long as my mind is separated from it, you can't unleash the full power it's capable of. You fool! The great Captain Ginyu will not fall for such tricks! Let me join in the fight, Captain! I can totally make these low lives suffer! Trust me! Well then, if you're looking for a fight, why don't you try me on for size? Vegeta! We... When did you... I think it's finally time to test this new body of mine out! Yeah! <laughs> 
Yes, I did it. <laughs> I turned him into a frog. <laughs> Tell me how to use the Dragon Balls. Tell me and I'll put an end to your suffering. I may not be able to kill that elder of yours, but you, on the other hand, are expendable. Consider this your final warning. Tell me how to grant my wish, or die! <laughs> it's too late for you. D Dende is on his way to meet the Earthlings. He, he's going to tell them how to use the Dragon Balls. What? What? A little worm from before. You were merely wasting my time, weren't you? I'm not picking up a signal from the Ginyu Falls. No, all five of them couldn't have. They couldn't have all been defeated. No, something must have happened between Vegeta, the Earthlings, and the Ginyu Falls. And the Dragon Balls! No! The Almighty Freezer will be the only one to make any wishes! Not lower life forms like you! Yeah! 
This, this medical machine here. It should put you back in prime condition before you know it. Oh, and might as well give you some battle suits while we're at it. That way you'll at least be somewhat protected. Huh? Battle suits? You mean like that one? I don't really like how it looks. Whoa, this is crazy! It's super lightweight. It feels like I'm not wearing anything at all. And these shoulder pads don't really get in the way. We have all sorts of room to move. Go on. We should head over to Guru's place while Goku's recovering. If we don't find out how to summon Shenron, then we came all the way out here for nothing. Right. Let's get going. Go find out how to activate the Dragon Balls. I am going to rest up before this fight with Frieza. Uh, okay. Someone's on the move. Wait, that power. It's Dinde! Krillin! Gone! What are you doing here? Uh, well, we finally collected the Dragon Balls, but we can't do anything with them. So, we thought we'd head to Guru's place and ask him what to do. I knew it! This is perfect! Grand Elder Guru told me to find you two and tell you how to use the Dragon Balls. You won't be able to make a wish unless you say it in the Namekian language. Namekian, huh? I guess that would explain why it didn't work before. We need to hurry! Grand Elder Guru doesn't have much time. Frieza might be on his way here as we speak. Uh, right. Oh, yeah, what about Vegeta? He said he was gonna rest up, right? Yeah. He's probably still sleeping. Good. We gotta make sure we're extra stealthy on the way back. Ugh, made it. So how's Vegeta? He's still sleeping. Well, he's been in his fair share of battles recently. Now's our chance to leave him here and go make our wishes. We gotta grab the Dragon Balls and make our way out of here without waking him up. Even if Shenron wakes him up, we should still have enough time if we're far enough away. All right. It looks like Vegeta doesn't even know we're here. Yeah. Someone's coming this way! They're super fast! Huh? <laughs> it's Frieza! Hurry, Dinde! Do what you need to do to help us make our wishes! R right! Shinron is one generous dragon! Hurry! Tell me your wishes before Vegeta or Frieza get here! Oh, uh, right. First, ask him to bring back everyone on Earth who was killed by the Saiyans! Banda Parura, Ruti Mararu, Ban Paritsu, Kumera Tohero, Runchero, Itash Kunspa, Pontero, Rukche! I am unable to grant that wish. I am only capable of bringing back one person at a time. What? Uh, oh no! Hmm. It seems they can only wish back one person at a time. Hey, let me talk to Gohan. 
Hurry! Okay, okay. Place your hand on my shoulder to talk to him. Thanks. Gohan, can you hear me? It's Piccolo! Mr. Piccolo? Listen up and listen good, okay? I know what's going on there. That first wish of yours, use it to bring me back. If I'm back, then Kami will be as well. You have to trust me on this. We can use the Dragon Balls on Earth to resurrect everybody else. We can bring them back. Yeah, that's right. I totally forgot about that. And, as for the second wish, you have to make him send me to Namek. I want to make that wretched Frieza suffer slowly for slaughtering my people. I'm a lot stronger now thanks to the training I've done. I know I can beat him. You have to warp me to Namek. Okay, Mr. Piccolo. Good. Do whatever you want for the third wish. Dinde, ask him if he can bring back Piccolo. He was a Namekian that used to be on Earth. Okay, you said his name was Piccolo, right? Tetorapto Hoto Piccolo, Pupimero Papi Mopuso, Paturate Morimpe, Kuri Pupas, Puya Kirigo, Oteku Horoksa, Pero Pupo! Understood. I will grant your first wish. <laughs> Kami! Piccolo, what is this? What in the world are you up to? For our second wish, please ask him to take Piccolo, the guy we just brought back, and then warp him straight here to Namek. Okay! Tarumopura Akororu, Stenonipuro, Hikoloru Magaka, Kamakaroru! Consider it done. I shall grant your second wish. So, this is Planet Namek, the home of my people. Not sure why, but there's something familiar about it. Now's not the time to get emotional. I need to find Gohan and the others. I'm sensing a mass of energy in the distance. Oh, it must be that monster Frieza! I sense three huge powers near there. They've got to be Gohan and the others. I thought for sure Frieza was on his way here. But what the hell is going on? Why is it dark outside? There's no night on this planet. What the hell is that monstrosity? Those Dragon Balls and those twerps, they're gone. That beast must be the Shenron creature those two were talking about. Ugh, I can't believe they took the Dragon Balls right from under my nose. Damn them! Your second wish has been granted. Now, state your final wish. Wait, he granted our wish? Then where's Piccolo? Well, you did ask to have him sent to this planet, but... but you didn't say where. Did you want me to have him sent here? Oh no, now what are we supposed to do? <gasps> uh. Oh, you actually thought you can trick me? You're going to pay for that! How could you be so stupid? Get it through your head! Frieza can't be defeated unless I'm immortal! Wait... We get three wishes! 
So that means there's still one left. W what are you doing, Gohan? Well, now that's what I like to hear. Now then, make me immortal. Freezer's already on his way here. Hold on. Do you not have a final wish? Oh man, we're out of options at this point. Hurry, Tinpei. Grant Vegeta's wish! I hate to admit it, but he's our best shot at getting out of this mess. Okay, I'll ask Purunga. Yes, finally! Frieza has no hope of beating me now. Even if I don't have the strength to beat him, I'll eventually wear him down. <laughs> okay, here goes! Disappeared! The Dragon Balls, they're. they're stone! G Grand Elder Guru? He's gone. He finally. died. What, what do you mean? The, what about my immortality? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, oh no. It's. Frieza! Well, you've really done it now, haven't you? You have destroyed my dream of attaining true immortality in the most spectacular fashion. As for the lack of response from the Ginyu Force, I suppose I have you to blame. I don't fully understand what has happened, but this is a rather surprising turn of events. How could I have foreseen the Dragon Balls turning to stone just as I was about to make my wish a reality? I can only imagine Vegeta's disappointment, though it pales in comparison to my own. This is a first, to be sure. No one has ever been foolish enough to make a mockery of me on such a grand scale! You... You worms will pay for this! I'm going to make your deaths long and painful! None of you will escape my wrath! Prepare to experience hell! We're... we're doomed! What is this power level? There's no way we can beat someone like this! Of course. Did you really think three measly ants could defeat a dinosaur? We can beat you! There's enough power between the three of us to take you down! The power level of those two keep rising, and the kid still has a ton of untapped power ready to go! Not to mention, I'm getting even closer to becoming your worst nightmare, a Super Saiyan! I grow tired of hearing about that preposterous myth. Please, you are no Super Saiyan. <laughs> it's no myth. I'm strong enough now to take on even that freakish transformation of yours. Transformation? Did you say transformations? What are you talking about, Vegeta? A small number of people throughout the universe have the ability to transform when needed. Some camouflage themselves with it, while other beings use it to conserve their energy. My transformation serves another purpose, I'm afraid. You see, my power is so great that I struggle to contain it at times. What did you just say? He's bluffing! Relax! He doesn't have that much power! Oh, you think so? You know, I recall when I took over planet Vegeta. I hadn't a need to transform in order to subdue you simian barbarians. And your king. That's right, Vegeta. Your planet was nothing special. Not even your father. I wouldn't be so cocky if I were you. My father's strength back then pales in comparison to mine now. Ah. Oh. 
So it was Frieza that destroyed the Saiyan planet. Go on, transform! Show us what you really look like, Frieza! <laughs> Very well. If you wish to die that badly, then I'm more than happy to oblige. You're in for a rare treat! Not many have had the privilege of seeing this form! His power level! It's insane! <laughs> Careful now. This won't be like before, and I won't be gentle. Perhaps you've noticed my massive increase in power. In terms of power level, I would say it's over one million. What? No way! <laughs> oh my, you look rather scared, Vegeta. What's wrong? You weren't expecting this? For me to be this powerful? <clears throat> Damn you, Frieza! Now then, who shall I send to hell first? How about you? <laughs> Surprising. That little attack of yours just now actually managed to hurt. But you are no match for me. All you've succeeded in doing is angering me further! Oh, it's no use. Damn it! So much for that plan of ours! The energy from before is larger now. Frieza appears to have finally made his move. <gasps> There's an energy nearby. <laughs> Whoa, he looks just like me. Must be Namekian. So, you're the Namekian the Earthlings were talking about. They got their wish. <laughs> Good for them. You seem to know a lot about what's going on. You probably also know these Earthlings called me here to help them, not to talk to the locals. Sorry, but you're on your own. I don't know what kind of training you put yourself through, but your power, it's unbelievable. <clears throat> Too bad it's not enough. You... you might have actually been able to take on Frieza. If you'd... What? You mean I could stand a chance against Frieza if I fuse back together with Kami? Is that what you're telling me? That's right. I was no match for Frieza. 
but I... I got a sense of his power. There's no way in hell I'd join back with that dried-up dolt. Besides, I couldn't even if I wanted to. <laughs> then... then fuse with me. If you do, you'll increase your power tenfold, maybe more. What? Fuse with you? There's not much time. I only have a few moments left. Your mind will still be your own. Quickly, place your hand on my body. Fine. I'll do it. Make Frieza suffer for what he did to our people. Oh, I'm planning on it. Unbelievably incredible! So... So this is what he was talking about! I'm on my way, Gohan. What's wrong, Vegeta? Are you not going to save him? Worm still alive. My attack should have been fatal. You won't be able to cheat death again once I've torn you into a million little pieces. Solar flare! <laughs> My eyes! Now, Vegeta, attack him with all you got! You're still alive! Here, let me heal you! <gasps> he, he had that kind of ability? What are you doing, Vegeta? Why the hell didn't you tell me that Namekian Runt had the ability to heal people? Because we didn't know either. If we had known, we would have had him heal Goku! You really surprised me there, Dende! Thanks! Good luck! His power has increased rather significantly. I suppose it's because he has the blood of a Saiyan. It might not be much, but it should be enough to tip the scales in our favor. Impossible! That little cretin was on the verge of death, I'm sure of it! <laughs> Something's coming! Mr. Piccolo! Sorry to keep you waiting. Of all the people to show up, it had to be the freak we killed back on Earth! The Dragon Balls were used to bring back this dead weight? Sorry to disappoint you, but let's make one thing clear. I'm coming after you next. Once I take care of Frieza, that is. So another Namekian worm has come to die. Back off. I fight alone. What? What? <laughs> it's your funeral. You have no idea what you're up against, but fine. Go ahead. <laughs> Something to be 
matter. It's a bit of He's still far from a word. Time to take out the trash. apologize for my attitude before. I've underestimated you, but I'm afraid you're still out of your league. Allow me to demonstrate my true power! Well then, guess I'll do the same. <laughs> it appears you don't fully grasp the danger you're in. Did you think what I've shown you was the full extent of my power? What? You simpleton. You're clearly unaware that I've undergone a transformation. Prepare yourself. You're about to experience dread like you've never felt before! Transformation? Now, that I have your attention, it's only fitting that I instill you with hopelessness as well! With each and every transformation, my power increases quite considerably. And still, I have two more forms beyond this one. You know what that means. Don't you? You can't be serious! Oh, no! He, he's got two more forms? Prepare yourselves! You have the esteemed privilege of being the first to see my next form! Rejoice! to beat me within an inch of my life, right now! Yeah. <sighs> I apologize for the wait. Shall we begin round two? Ugh, you monster! Now, 
Realize just how powerful we Saiyans can become when pushed to our limits. What are you waiting for? I can't get a power boost if I harm myself. I need you to do it. With that little Namekian's healing ability, I can recover from whatever you do almost immediately. I'd love to beat the snot out of you, believe me. But I can't. I mean, Goku's gonna be back any minute now. Kakarot isn't going to get stronger. He's a loser! Now, while I could snuff the life out of you in my current form with the most minimal of efforts, I wonder... Yes, I think I'll demonstrate to you just how truly terrifying my power is before I end your pitiful lives! <laughs> Now's our chance! Hurry up and do it! Good. This should work. Go on! You have to get out of here! Right! of my people. I, I can't heal someone like you. Why, you insignificant little... I need to help the others. Are you okay? <sighs> Thanks a lot, kid. Krillin, why did you attack Vegeta? Don't you remember? Saiyans get stronger every time they survive a fight to the death. That's why Vegeta asked me to attack him. Oh, yeah, that's right. Dende, look, I get it. I know why you don't want to heal Vegeta, but we're screwed if he can't fight. But... Just heal him. I'm not strong enough to take Frieza on my own. <sighs> What's going on? Is that Frieza? His transformation's complete. Dende, please! We need you to heal Vegeta! <sighs> <sighs> Took you long enough. Hm. 
Frieza should be no match for me now. Finally, feast your eyes on a Super Saiyan. He's coming into view. Judge a book by its cover. Still, I think I liked his other forms better. Sorry I couldn't help you guys out. I know you all went through a lot of trouble trying to wish me here. No, I couldn't help but notice that little Namekian had the ability to heal you. I'm afraid I can't have any more of that. <laughs> well then, let's begin, shall we? I made you a promise, didn't I? I said you would experience a dread like no other you've felt before. <clears throat> His speed is incredible! So that's Frieza's true form. But I won't lose. Not as I am now! It seems your moves were too fast for the runs to catch. But I can see them clear as day. I admire your confidence, Vegeta. But I'm afraid your mind is so overcome with fear that you've become delusional. You won't be laughing for very long, Frieza. After all, you're up against your greatest fear, a Super Saiyan! Frieza's final form. <laughs> you haven't lost your ridiculous sense of humor. There won't be a need for Kakarot when I'm done! I can see you! Finished. I think I'll make the next move. I'll be gentle. For the very first time in his life, Vegeta had finally begun to experience 
true dread. Overcome with hopelessness and frustration, he was reduced to tears. The mighty prince of the warrior race had lost his will to fight. If you wish to save him, feel free to try at any time. with power it's actually kind of freaking me out whoa i better get going hang on guys i'm on my way hmm. sorry i'm late i'll take things from here dad goku it looks like I still have some trash to dispose of. K Kakarot! <laughs> hmm. Kakarot. Oh, I see. So you're a Saiyan as well. I intend to rid the universe of every last one of you. actually countered one of my attacks. I'm impressed. <laughs> Frieza, I'd get serious if I were you. You're finally face to face with your worst nightmare. A, a Super Saiyan! <laughs> the, the legendary Saiyan warrior. The strongest fighter in the universe. <laughs> Your finish, Frieza. <laughs> You're finally going to get what you. Did I not make myself clear before? I've grown tired of your pathetic jokes. Stop! Don't you see he can't fight back anymore? He's done. Just let him go. Kakarot, you're just as soft as always. Perhaps you're not a Super Saiyan after all. <laughs> you idiot. Stop letting your emotions hold you back. Stop being so soft and you can finally do it. You can become a Super Saiyan. Kakarot, listen. Our home planet, planet Vegeta, wasn't destroyed by a meteor. It, it was Frieza. We, we Saiyans, we Saiyans were his enforcers. We followed his every order. Mm. Your parents, my father, the king, they, they were all murdered by that monster. <laughs> I beg you, Kakarot. Please, please, defeat Frieza. Please, I beg of you. He must die by saying hands. I was wondering when he'd finally die. Vegeta. It must have been really difficult for a proud guy like you to beg me for help. I hated you at first, but I began to understand over time you were a proud Saiyan warrior. Just know this, I'll do what I can to carry on that pride of yours. 
Hey, I'm a Saiyan raised on Earth. And to avenge those you've brutally murdered. The Saiyans and the Namekians. I'm going to defeat you! Utter nonsense. We're just in the way. We need to get out of here. Go on. Come on, hurry! Please don't die, Dad! Make Frieza pay for what he did! Approximately 50% of my full power to reduce you to dust, if even that. What? This has been fun. It's been quite some time since I've exerted myself this much. Man, I'm in trouble. If he's serious about the half power thing, then even the Kaioken times ten isn't gonna be enough. I should be able to hold my own if I push it to times twenty, though. My body might not be able to handle it, but I've gotta try! What's going on? It, it barely, it barely did a thing! My dad's energy! It's a lot weaker than it was before! I can't believe someone's actually that strong! Guess King Kai was right. Can't believe I'm saying this, but we shouldn't have picked this fight with Frieza. Gone. What? Have you exhausted yourself already? I can't watch anymore. I'm gonna help him. Wait, seems like Goku's got something in the works.
Goku, the legendary Super Saiyan. The Spirit Bomb! All things living on Namek, and all planets that can hear me, lend me as much energy as you can! Give me the strength I need! What are you doing? Don't tell me. Is this another one of your pathetic attacks? What can you possibly accomplish by just standing there? <gasps> Whoa, he's made a spirit bomb? That huge? Frieza doesn't appear to know what's going on right now. I don't understand why Goku doesn't just attack him. He's probably thinking that he needs more energy so that he can take Frieza down for good this time. Man, I wish this thing didn't take so long to get ready. I have to make sure he doesn't figure out what I'm doing. Come on! This is getting ridiculous. How much longer do you intend to keep that up? <laughs> Not sure. As long as I have to, I guess. <laughs> Say, uh, you're not in a hurry, are you? You dare mock me? I do not understand, you Saiyans. Your kind has been a thorn in my side for as long as I can remember. Once I've destroyed that Saiyan child and this entire planet, the Saiyans will finally be no more. The legend of the Super Saiyan will remain just that, a legend. That's not the sun. What the? Oh, we saw it. Stay here. No matter what happens, do not leave this spot! What is that? Is that some sort of ball of energy? You! It's no use. If I launch the spirit bomb at him right now, he's just gonna dodge it. Besides, it doesn't even have enough power to take Frieza down. Ah, damn it! were planning a sneak attack this whole time. How pathetic! But all of your idiotic planning and effort has gone to waste. You're finished! P Piccolo! Hurry up and finish that spirit bomb already! Thanks, Piccolo. You vile, insignificant pests! How dare you interfere in this? So there are more of you, are there? <laughs> you certainly know how to test my limited patience. It ends now! I will reduce you and this entire planet to nothing but ashes! All right, it's done! Release it! No! I, I will! Not be defeated! You made it. Yeah. But 
Where are my dad and Piccolo? Th they were right by the impact. You... You don't think that they... Hey, it's Goku and Piccolo we're talking about. They wouldn't go down that easy. Krillin, the energy's faint, but I feel it. Right, come on, let's go! Okay. Dad! Goku! You did it! <laughs> Let's go home, you guys. Ugh. What is it, Krillin? We totally forgot about Bulma! Don't scare me like that! <laughs> <laughs> no, it can't be! It's Frieza! Mr. <laughs> Piccolo! You worms. I'm going to eradicate every last one of you! Krillin! No! Let him go, Frieza! Go, go! <laughs> and now for the little brat. You and head back to Earth now! Uh, uh, Hurry, Gohan! Before I lose what little sense of reason I have left! Uh, 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 okay! What's going on? What's happened to him? No! It can't be! I... I think I know what's going on. My dad finally did it! He's become a Super Saiyan! I've had enough! Now I'm mad, Frieza! You will know your place, you filthy Saiyan! You're responsible for the deaths of so many innocent people! You can destroy entire planets, but you can't take down one single person? What are you? You mean you haven't figured it out yet? I'm the Saiyan who's come all the way from Earth to defeat you! I am the warrior you've heard of in Legends. 
I am pure of heart and awakened by fury. That's what I am. I am the Super Saiyan, Son Goku! <laughs> I stand corrected. I suppose the legends were true after all. I hate you! I hate you! It's over, Frieza. Is it now? I won't let it end this way. I would rather take my own life than be killed by scum like you! Fine by me. The one that's going to die isn't me. It'll be you! <laughs> I can survive in the vacuum of space. Let's find out if the same can be said for Saiyans! <laughs> this planet will die! Myself too much. But the core has been completely destroyed. In five minutes' time, this planet will explode and become nothing more than debris floating through space. Five minutes, huh? Well, that's all the time I need. I'll avenge Krillin by defeating you, then find my friends and get out of here. Defeat me? Impossible! You have given me no choice. It's time to show you. Prepare for my full power! Frieza. You know, the only reason I'm letting you reach full power is because I want to beat you at your best. As a warrior, I wouldn't have it any other way. Besides, you want to test out your full power too, don't you? Apologies for the wait. As requested, this is my full power! Goku's struggling. At this rate, he might not be able to make it off planet Namek before it explodes. No way! There must be something we can do. Wait, that's it? Yes, that should work! Guardian of Earth, Tommy, can you hear me? Yes, King Kai, I can hear you. Will you be able to summon Shenron right away? I have a wish to make. Ah, oh, yes. I've already had Mr. Popo gather all of the Dragon Balls. We were planning to use them to revive those currently in your care. Right. Because Earth Dragon Balls can revive many people at once. But can they revive those who died naturally? I'm afraid those who died of natural causes cannot be brought back. But what about those whose lives were shortened as a result of an encounter with a villain? Hmm. I suppose such people could be revived, if only for the brief time that was taken from them. All right, then. Here's the wish. Ask Shenron to bring back all those that were killed by Frieza and his men. What? I'll explain. We don't have much time, so I'll make this quick. First, we'll use the Earth Dragon Balls to revive all those killed by Frieza. That should mean all Namekians, including Grand Elder Guru, should be revived. We've only had two of the three wishes granted with the Namekian Dragon Balls. Now, very strange. With Grand Elder Guru back, we should still be able to make one last wish, right? 
with that last wish, we'll transport everyone on Namek other than Frieza to Earth. Oh, I get it. You've really thought this through, King Kai. Anyway, that's the gist of it. Now hurry! Planet Namek won't be around much longer! Oh, oh I see. I'll summon Shenron right away. Now, state your wish. I shall grant you any wish that you desire. To the world of the living. Wendell the Ghoul of Planet Namek. This is King Kai of the North Quadrant of the Galaxy. Please listen closely. Why won't you just die? This is it. I'm going to blow you to a million pieces, just like that Earthling! What are you talking about? Are you talking about Krillin? Don't you dare talk about Krillin! And now Planet Namek is about to explode! There should be one wish left with the Dragon Balls there. I need you to summon Shenron! For the last wish, ask him to send everyone there except Frieza to Earth. I understand, King Kai. I appreciate your concern. But wishes must be made directly, I'm afraid. I will contact whomever is closest to the Dragon Balls and tell them your wish. Wait! Don't make that wish! Listen to me. Ask him to leave both Frieza and me behind. Come on, ask him! Uh, you heard us, Goku? I, I understand what you're trying to do, but... Listen, King Kai, if you don't let me finish things with Frieza, I'm never going to forgive you! Fine, fine. I understand. If that's really what you want... This is Guru. Grand Elder Guru? Please save your questions. I would like you to ask Purunga to grant one final wish. Dende, will you ask him to transport all those on Namek except for Frieza and the Saiyan Goku to Earth? Okay. Something wrong. Do you not have a wish? Here. Here is our final wish! What? That's. The, the Dragon Balls! Yes. No, wait! Hokurunga, Frieza, Hipoto, Goku! Make me... IMMORTAL! No! Poparunga, Frieza, Pipoto, Goku! Pooparito, Rom Rompa, Papipo, Paro! 
Understood. It will be done. However, all except these two will be sent to Earth. What? My children, this huh? is a planet called Earth. My, My time is once again at hand, I'm afraid. But before I leave this world once more, I wish to explain what has just happened. The battle against that fiend Frieza still continues back on our home planet. Would you look at that? You need to speak the local language in order to make a wish. It's just us now, Frieza. Me and you. Finally, I've been waiting for this. How very curious. It would seem you're willing to pay the ultimate price to settle our conflict. Very well. is over. There's no point anymore. I can tell you're afraid. I don't need to defeat you anymore. <laughs> you dare mock me? I will not You brought this upon yourself, Frieza. 
Though I have to admit I didn't see it ending quite like this. Cause you saying? Uh... I'm going to make my way back to Earth. You can stay here and suffer the same fate as this planet. I... thank you. P please have mercy. Please have mercy. I thank you. How can you beg for mercy? How many people begged you for mercy before you slaughtered them? How many? I beg you. I've given you just a little bit of my energy. That's all you get. You're on your own. Is why you you must you must die by my hand. You fool! What? No. Goku survived his battle with Frieza. However, planet Nemec had finally reached its limit, exploding in spectacular fashion and leaving Goku nowhere to be found. Back on Earth, Vegeta and the relocated Namekians resolved to stay with Bulma for the time being. Not much time had passed before Grand Elder Guru once again passed away. This time, surrounded by his people. With Mori as the new Grand Elder, the Namekian Dragon Balls would be ready in one Namekian year, or 130 days on Earth. Though the Namekian Dragon Balls were only capable of reviving one person per wish, they could revive those that had died multiple times. Upon making their wishes to bring Goku and Krillin back, everyone received some shocking news. Goku was alive, and he was on his way back to Earth. To prevent Krillin from being brought back to life on the now destroyed Namek, his soul was brought back to Earth with the first wish, and then revived with the second. No longer needing to revive Goku, next in line to be brought back was Yamcha, whom everyone was more than happy to see. Then, another 130 days had passed and two of the three wishes had been used to bring back the beloved Chaozu and Tien. Then, with the third and final wish, the Namekians were transported to a new planet. Along with their legendary Dragon Balls. <laughs>